Just over 15 years ago, the MRO snapped a really interesting photograph at a site in Moreau in a region of Mars called Protonellus Mensae. I featured the anomaly a couple of years ago and a channel subscriber of mine pointed out that it actually looks like a depiction of a Mayan or Incan face. Let's get cracking on. The photograph here is called Viscous Flow Feature acquired on the 7th of January 2022 at 29.9 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the low res black and white and the rather weird terrain in this region. And the anomaly I'll be showing you is right there in this photograph folks at approximately 41 degrees 56 minutes north 44 degrees 20 minutes east we'll have a look at some of the other anomalies in this photograph as well so there it is folks it sticks out like a sore finger right there in the center of the image check out the rectangular features to this object you can see what looks like a face with the chin of the ear, the mouth, the ear, one of the eyes, the nose and then strange gear on the head coming over the center of the forehead between the two eyes. There it is a little closer and that's what it looked like in my video way back then folks a lot more blurry and less detail and that photograph was snapped on the 6th of January 2007 so it's 15 years ago it's amazing that the MRO is still going strong and they have rotated it to make more sense so up close we can see what looks like the chin the mouth the ear sticking out here on the side, the nose, and it looks like an eye. And then this strange headgear on the top. And then it's zoomed in really close, folks. So uh, it looks like it consists of these rectangular slabs or blocks. Check out the protrusions or knobs. We're going to see a couple more of those. In some more anomalies in this photograph folks so what are we looking at here folks are we looking at something caused by a natural geological process or are we looking at an ancient depiction of a Mayan or Incan face let me know what you think in the comments below so up next we've got these strange megalithic blocks this one's got two protrusions or knobs on it and it's about 10 meters long and it reminds me of these blocks that we get down at Rennes in south america with the protrusions or knobs on them and there it is up close check out the straight edges right angles and then the two knobs right there placed symmetrically on top of the block and we're looking at this block this is one of two this one's about six by six meters in size check out the straight edges again right angles to it and the uniform thickness to the block as well slightly eroded and damaged over time and there's the next one folks about the same size and there's a lot of blocks in this photograph folks I'm only going to zoom in on those that are really interesting check out this one uniform width on this one side looks almost as if it's open here on the one side almost like it could be hollowed out and we're looking at that strange block about the same size 
and this one seems to be rotated at 45 degrees I check out the uniform width again the straight edges and right angles and there's another block guys check this one out it's about 8 meters long by about 6 meters wide right angles straight edges it looks almost as if it's slightly larger than the block over here to the right almost as if it's like a slab mounted on top of this block on the right very bright material as well and we're looking at this piece folks check that out that there is about 12 meters long by about 12 meters wide and it's about 3 meters thick lying on its side check out the uniform thickness to it as well lots of other blocks and odds and ends around it now we're looking at these rectangular features of yeah in this part of the photograph folks the longer part at the bottom there I would say is about 20 meters long so from there to there is about 20 meters long check out the two similar rectangular parts that seem to fit into slots on this larger part at the bottom also the protrusions and knobs on it and it seems to have a bevel over here parallel with this one side and this piece has what looks like a donut or pipe shaped piece on it then we're looking at that block there guys it's one of the smaller ones it's about three meters long check out the uniform width to it right angles and straight edges very smooth surfaces as well and then that block it's a rather weird piece it's about 15 meters long and then the block over here on the top like it's mounted to this larger piece straight edges right angles to this part parallel sides looks almost as if that there is slightly carved out as well or hollowed out and then we're looking at this strange block over here guys it's about 10 by 10 meters in size and it reminds me of this block over here got the straight edges right angles to it and then the corner over there is machined away a lot like we have here even there so are we looking at remnants of an ancient structure on mars that was totally devastated and blown apart in the distant past there's another piece with the corner carved away or machined away and it looks like this smaller part of here fits into that part there this is from our video part two alignments and strange objects found near Eurepus Mons on Mars and then again we have the protrusions or knobs located on the top the curvature of here also reminds me of the way these blocks have been molded or machined and there it is up close check out the right angle over there maybe that little block over here to the right fits into that part of here and we've got three blocks still intact and next to one another there yeah we're looking at a long rectangular part it's about 10 meters long and again check out the smooth 
flat surface, very bright, and then the straight edges and right angles. And this type of arrangement we've seen quite often on Mars as well. Check out this, we've got a small block mounted at 45 degrees to this larger piece underneath it and it's located right there in the center of the one side. A lot like this one, I featured this in part one, the Sidonian Neolithic artists and builders of Mars. There's another small block mounted at 45 degrees to the larger one underneath it, right there in the center of the one side. And this one seems to have a protrusion or knob in it. Strange L-shaped part over here to the left. And there it is, zoomed up, folks. Check out the symmetry and geometry of this piece. Mounted to the side of this larger piece. Right, let's zoom in to Protomelis Mense, located in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars, and into Moreau. The anomaly we're looking at is located in this area of Moreau, folks. So there's the anomaly as I featured it a couple of years ago, and I couldn't find these anomalies again folks it looks as if the sand in this depression has moved over and covered those up and then uncovered a couple of these blocks that i didn't previously discover so this is a highly intriguing site on mars definitely need to go and check this out I speculate we're looking at ancient Incan or Mayan artifacts here, folks. Especially what looks like a depiction of a face. Could it have been a statue or a monument that toppled over? Or is it made out of surface material to be visible from the air only? Also at the site, we've got this large megalithic block or slab. Check out the intricate design on it. Located in this rectangular depression. And that block there is about 25 meters long. If I can recall correctly, folks. Two obelisk type anomalies over there. And then some odds and ends as well. Very intriguing. Looks very symmetrical and geometric. And then two more smaller objects with these small protrusions or knobs in their centers. So the question, as always, are we looking at natural geology that produced these strange shapes? Are we looking at pareidolia? Or are we looking at ancient evidence pointing to the possibility that there could have been Egyptian, Inca, Maya type civilizations on Mars? They built these strange megalithic structures which were totally devastated in the past. I'm sure you'll agree with me the similarities in the design and shape of these blocks is very compelling and we really need to go and check these things out when we get there. Let's have a chat in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of these. To my new subscribers, welcome on board and to my veteran viewers, thank you for your support and to those of you that donate to my PayPal account. Much appreciated, everybody. Take care. Until the next video, ciao for now.